This is Chris. He is on his way to the chemistry lab. Working in a chemistry lab requires following explicit safety regulations. Let's see if Chris follows them. Oh dear, Chris? Chris, if you're wearing headphones, you may not hear the alarm or instructions in case of emergency. Eating and drinking is strictly forbidden in the lab. Also, you must wear long trousers, closed shoes, and of course, a lab coat. Much better. Here's Larissa, and she brought you a pair of safety goggles. Now you are ready to enter the lab. Chris, be careful. You blocked the emergency exit with your bag and poor Larissa tripped over it. Let's see what's on today's list. Chris wants to heat ethanol in order to solve fatty acids. In a wide Erlenmeyer flask, a liquid heats much faster. You should use the boiling stones to avoid a boiling retardation. Oh, Chris, watch out. Oh no, how can you quench the fire? Maybe you should use the fire extinguisher. But look, Larissa already brought the fire blanket. If your clothes catch on fire, get under the emergency shower. Oh, Chris. Chris, if you go on filling the burette without a funnel, you might spill base on your hand. Oh no! Go to the faucet at once and wash it off. Make sure you use plenty of water. This is an eye wash fountain. You should use it in case acid or other dangerous substances get in your eyes. Yes, that's how it works. Chris, you can't use a vessel with a flat bottom in a rotary evaporator. It might implode. Try a round bottom flask. What kind of reaction are you about to perform? Could it be explosive? Maybe you should try it under a fume hood, otherwise you endanger yourself and others. Now you should clean up the bench and dispose of any remaining chemicals and waste. There are special containers for the different kinds of waste. For example, there's the container for sharp objects. Or for solid chemical waste. There are also distinct containers for halogenated solvents, for organic solvents, and for aquatic solvents. And of course, a waste container for normal waste. No, Chris. Zinc could contaminate the groundwater. Heavy metals are pollutant and dangerous for the environment. Therefore, they must be disposed of properly. The bottles with chemicals should be put back into the safety cabinet. Be extra cautious when handling corrosive, toxic, or mutagenic substances.
Chris, be careful with the broken glass pieces. Oh, don't panic. Larissa is an appointed first aider. She knows what to do. How deep is the cut? Do you need a bandage? Hmm, it seems that a band-aid will suffice. Chris, I hope you learned something today. Please be more careful next time. You don't want to be a safety hazard to yourself or to others around you.